Hello everyone. I am Ajashwini. Let's explore one concept on dynamic programming, a powerful technique used to solve optimization problems. Dynamic programming is all about breaking down a problem into simpler subproblems and solving each subproblem only once, storing the solution to avoid redundant computations. In this video, we will explore Wagner Fisher algorithm. This algorithm is based on dynamic programming. This algorithm is fundamental in measuring similarity between two strings, which is crucial in various fields such as natural language processing, bioinformatics, and many more. Let's jump right in. It is also known as minimum edit distance algorithm. It tells how two strings are similar. In this algorithm, we will calculate minimum edit distance, which is also known as Lavenstein distance. Lavenstein distance is the measure of similarity between two strings which takes into account the number of insertion, deletions and substitution operations needed to transform one string to other. Let us see some examples how to calculate Lavenstein distance and then algorithm. Suppose let us consider two strings horse and rose. How many minimum number of operations do you think it would take to transform horse to rose? Okay, if we see this, this can be simply achieved by substituting H with R, then deleting another R present in first string and then deleting E. We are performing three operations which are one substitution and two deletions are taking place. So, the minimum added distance would be 3. Let us move on to another example, intention and execution. The minimum number of operations for this example will be achieved by replacing i with t and then replacing n with x deleting t replacing n with c and inserting u as you can see the minimum added distance is 5 for intention and execution there are many ways to transform one string to another string but this algorithm helps us to find out the minimum number of operations required for transformation. Now, let's delve into the inner working of the minimum edit distance algorithm. Let's understand how we set up the Wagner Fisher algorithm. We start by initializing a 2D array, which is named as dp of size m plus 1 into n plus 1, where m and n are lengths of input strings. This array will store the minimum added distance between substrings of two input strings. Next, we will set the base cases. Rows indicate the number of characters in source string. Columns indicate the number of characters in the target string. The base, can, base case, the base case is represented by first row and first column of the matrix. We start with two strings, source string and target string. For each character in source string, we calculate the distance to an empty string in target string. This distance represents how many characters we need to delete from source string to make it empty. Similarly. For each character in target string, we calculate the distance to an empty string in source string. The distance shows how many characters we need to insert into x. And this distance shows how many characters we need to insert into x to make it equal to y. You will understand this more clearly in the following example. We have filled base cases in the matrix. Now, we will fill the rest of the matrix using a nested loop. Walking through the source string and the target string, for each cell i, j, we check characters at positions i, j in the string inputs are same. If the characters at this position are same, then take the value from the diagonal element. Else, when the characters at the position are not same, then we need to perform an op operation. We take the minimum of three adjacent cells 
substitute, remove. Either we will substitute or remove or insert and add one to it. This is shown in this algorithm. Once the DP array is filled, we can backtrack from bottom right corner to the top left corner to find the sequence of operations that transform one string into another. Let us have a quick look at the example where source string is both and target string is float. We need to transform both to float. According to the condition, if the characters at the position are same, we will copy the diagonal element. If they are not same, we will we need to find the minimum of three adjacent cells and add one to it. Using this algorithm, fill out the matrix to find the Levenstein distance, the minimum added distance required to convert boats to float is 3. We can backtrack from bottom right corner to the top left corner to find the sequence of operations that transform one string to another. The path is shown in the figure. Now let's see the execution in VS Code. Note, the above algorithm is done in bottom-up approach. The time complexity of minimum added distance algorithm is based on the size of dynamic programming matrix used by the algorithm, which is the size of m plus 1 into n plus 1, where m is the length of source string and n is the length of target string. And space complexity and time complexity is given by big O of m into n. Thank you.